Hey guys, okay, so obviously my hair isn't naturally like this. I braided it last night and it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it, so I just kind of combed it out and you know it got all hoopy. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna work with that in a minute, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn an everyday ponytail into something a lot cuter. And this is for all ages, so yeah, let's get started. By the way, you have to know how to French braid for this. So, yeah, on with the tutorial. Okay, I've had a really hard time recording this part of the video. Um, but if my sister comes in and starts yelling that you're ugly and stuff, I don't really mean it towards the camera or anything. But um, if my uh, if you hear a voice in the background, that's my little sister. Try to ignore her. I've tried slapping her across the face. I've tried everything, and it still doesn't work. So, I've tried a new thing to kind of keep her out of the way, so if she does come in, just ignore her. I'm going to try to keep going if she does come in, because I've had a lot of trouble with that. So, um, okay, the materials you will need for this is basically whatever you need for your hair, personally. Um, I know some combs or brushes or whatever that works for you. So, like, I'm going to be using a rat tail comb and a regular comb. Uh, the stuff I use for like after the shower and stuff. Uh, you know, so like a rat tail comb or whatever. And yeah, um, if you want some hairspray, um, I personally like to wet my hair down, so I'm gonna go get a bottle, my spray bottle of this, but it's water instead. So I've used all of this up and put water in a new bottle. So yeah. Um, so let me go get that and we will start. Okay, so basically all you're going to do to make this really, um, kind of a fast video, all you're going to do if you want, this is what I personally like to do, but I like to braid one side and then I leave it down and then the other side, which is the thinner side obviously, I braid that and then I bring it back and then it's, um, French braided here and around the back. And um, this part is not braided, but it's in a side ponytail, and it's um, just straight or curly or, you know, whatever. So, um, that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, you don't have to braid this side if you don't want to, it doesn't matter what side you do it on. Whatever is, whatever fits your hair type, um, personally, this, that's how mine's going to be. So, yeah. Um, so... Basically, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna French braid it. You obviously, because I told you guys, you have to know how to French braid. Um, if you don't have to, if you don't want to add your bangs in, I mean, you don't have to, but I like to because I like to keep my bangs out of my face. Um, so, and also, I'm gonna wet my hair a little bit. And if the camera gets a little bit wet, I'm sorry. Um, where did I did not just lose it, god dang it. Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I kind of dropped it. Okay, so, um, this is, um, um, I do have a mirror back here, so I'm just going to start looking, I'm going to be looking at it. But all you're going to do is, you're going to start French braiding it. And I have the entire top layer, so... It's kind of a little bit different, if, depending on how you like to French braid your hair, whether you like to grab a section and then um, add little bits of pieces from there, or if you like to grab an entire top layer and then add pieces from below into there. Personally, I like to go with the second option. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but that's the way I like to do it. So. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't absolutely have to be perfect. You know, you can just make a little bit of pieces here and there. Uh, 
Um, you do want to make sure it's um, not tight, but like, I kind of want to say stern for some reason. That doesn't really apply to hair, but I guess you could say sturdy. So like, not tight, but kind of where it's not going to fall out, you know? So you could do that. And then just put it all the way down. Um, I like to, um, you're gonna <clears throat> want to use a few uh, ponytails for this and possibly some bobby pins. So, um, but this is kind of like what it looks like for like this ponytail. So, like for this one, it's gonna come out French braided. You can put it back if you want. Um, I kind of French braided it over my ear. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to braid it this way. So it's going to be like that. Um, and that's basically how it's going to be, except this side's going to be French braided. So I'm going to go ahead and French braid that and fix this because this isn't too comfortable. But um, that's basically what it's going to be like. And then um, <clears throat> I'll um, just braid the sides and then I'll show you what to do from there. So you're just going to braid both sides if you want, if not just one side, and then put it in a ponytail. Okay, so I'm going to go do that real quick and see you soon. Alright, so I did braid my hair. I am aware that these ponytails do not match, so thanks for noticing. Um, I grabbed some bobby pins, quite a few, I don't know if I'm going to need this many. But, uh, oops, don't. So, uh, basically, um, what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you how to do it. So, I do, where do I put these here? Okay. Alright, so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fin side here. I'm just going to bring it around here. Right. And, um, there's some loose stuff in the back. This is what I was talking about. This stuff is going to be up here and pinned up. Okay. Just ignore my sister, she's going to look at Um, I'm going to pin this loose stuff back in a minute. That's my sister knocking on the door. Okay, so, um, um, now what you're going to do is you're going to ignore her, um, uh, ignore her, um, grab a ponytail, or whatever you need. Okay. Make sure it's um, tight enough for whatever for your hair. Okay. Um. Now what I'm gonna do is um. Um. I do have some ponytail stuff in my hair right now. Okay, so I just took, um, when I, I took this braid out, I'm going to take this braid out, um, and I'm actually going to, um, style that, but what I'm going to do right now is, I don't know if you can see the piece part of my hair right here, um, but I'm going to fix that right now. So, um, let's just grab a bobby pin. Because um, I can't do um, this like like I'm not a pro. Just ignore her. Okay, and then um, I kind of check to see if there's any loose spots. I'll tug on it a little bit. And then I'll pull it. Pull it close. And also, if there's like any weird bumps or whatever in my hair, I'll kind of pin that down too. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much perfect right now. So, yeah. 
and this is what it looks like at the end. Um, I'm gonna straighten this or curl it or something. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's a French braid. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bunch of French braid. That was a lot of that thing. I probably missed some spots, but for me it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna wear this today. So yeah, peace. Bye. Oh, and also um, today, me and my friend Lexi were pro most likely going to be doing a video um, with some tips. And this does in this is a way to keep your hair back. Um, and that is one of the tips to keep your hair back. So watch out for the new video, the new tree video coming out. Um, most likely today. So yeah, bye.